So three to go. Love this youngster. She won four continents a couple of years ago. She was uh, fifth in national championships last year. Now 20 years of age. I first saw her in the uh, Asian Winter Games in Kazakhstan, and I've loved watching her develop over the years since then. This is Kanako Murakami for Japan, the music rock sound. on that flip. into that combination looks like she made it to me triple toe triple toe oh no singles the axle It's a fabulous performance. Love the program. And for the most part, it was going well, but that mistake on the double axle is going to cost her. She won't get anything for that. And I suppose if you're going to make a mistake on one of the jump elements, that's the one to do because that's the, the lowest tariff. Kanoko Murikami. Super interpretation. Uh, strong start. Well, for me, it was super interpretation in the last 15 seconds yeah. when she actually got with the music. The rest of the time, it looked to me like the, the music was a bit of a backdrop. It was strong skating and, uh, and fine elements, particularly com the, um, the two toe loops together, the opening flip too. But I, was, uh, I couldn't help thinking of Paulina Edwards before her and, and thinking, well, how's this going to be head-to-head -head on the artistic score? And this was much stronger music. It required a commitment to it, a lot of strength. And that came in that last 15 seconds, which got the audience, it got the crowd going, but it wasn't there throughout. Will that make a difference? Sometimes when the technical marks are up there, they seem to lift those artistic marks along with them somehow. <laughs> For me, Paulina Edmonds, who skated just before her, was much more, had much more quality from an artistic point of view, a presentation point of view, throughout the routine. 
Hopefully yeah. that will be reflected in the marks, but we'll see. Yeah, Polina's technical score, obviously low, but her, her component score was good. She got 29.93, almost into the 30s. She's got the highest component score. And uh, you can see that uh, technical score going down a little bit at the moment, 29.46. Still the third best, just in behind Caitlin Osmond. I'll tell you what, Caitlin would have been uh, top of the pile if she stayed on her feet on the spin and the double axle. That spin. I yep. hope she's all right because, you know, coming back and then having such a knock. Gosh. I've just got a glimpse at that combination. Looked clean as a whistle to me, just looking down at the marks on the ice as well. Here's the axle. Oh, do, 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 do. that's a jump she does in her sleep. And it's good edge work, good marks. Uh, good <laughs> marks, good, uh, good arm movements. And it's, uh, it's strongly skated. It's that commitment to the feel of the music. I just love to see throughout the program. Act it. So technically, she looks to be probably third. See what the second score does. 59.79. That's not too bad. Second place. Just ahead of Caitlin Osmond in behind Yuka Nagai. So it's Japan 1-2 at the moment. Canada in third. We've got two to go. That second score kept her up there.